Hey loves, welcome back to my channel. Today we have a little Torrid haul. It's kind of a random one, but I did pick up some leggings, some biker shorts, a jacket, and a really cute top. So I thought I would share them with you because you guys seem to really love Torrid hauls and Torrid's kind of like that. It's a little bit more expensive, at least for me. It's something that I kind of just get mostly basic items or I shop when there's a sale. But anyway, I'm a rambling. Let's go ahead and jump into this video. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I upload videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. We do beauty, plus size fashion, food videos, blogs, stuff like that. If you're into it, you're in the right place. We do have a ton of plus size fashion. That is probably the main focus on my channel these days. But anyway, yeah, let's just go, let's just jump in. Let's just jump in. Normally I use Torrid as like an example of sizing because I feel like they really are the plus size standard these days. They're highly accessible. Um, they're not terribly, terribly expensive, like, especially because they have sales. They definitely are more expensive than Shein or Forever 21, stuff like that, but the quality is always there and I will always go back to Torrid, especially for things like under tank tops, leggings, jackets, stuff that I'm really gonna use and really gonna wear. Um, I am a US size 20 at almost everywhere. Every once in a while I need a size 22, usually a solid size 20. Most of the time I wear a size two at Torrid, I, everything, but the t-shirt I got in a three because I do like to go up in their t-shirts. Also I am 5'9 so I am on the taller side. I feel like I can ramble forever so let's just go ahead and jump into this. So we're actually going to start this with a pair of their premium leggings which are my favorite pair of leggings. It's just like their basic leggings. I honestly only really wear these leggings. I will wear pretty much any leggings from Torrid, um, especially their premium line. I really do like them. I do feel like they have improved when they first launched them. I felt like the waistband was a little bit too tight and just wasn't comfortable, but I do think in the last year or two, they have definitely updated it. Um, I do still miss that original legging. If you remember their original, like it had like one of the like skinny bands and oh, those were just so good. I wish they would bring them back. I wish they had both because there's some days where like if my tummy's not 100% I don't really want a giant waistband. You know what I'm saying? Because I am showing you a pair of premium leggings that I have had for a long time. I just bought a brand new pair but I want to keep them in the package and keep them preserved until I need them. I always have one on backup just in case but I wear my leggings until like I literally can't wear them anymore. You know, eventually I'll get a hole in them. I have a stash of them. I absolutely love them. If these are covered in cat hair, I'm sorry. They just came out of the wash. I did try to lint roll them, but girl, that in my under tank top, three cats, all different colors of cats. I'm gonna be a fuzzy bean. But anyway, love these, love them. They are a size two. I could do a size three in these. Um, I don't know if I've picked up a size three in them before, but I kind of want to. Anyway, Love these leggings. If you've never tried Torrid Premium leggings, definitely grab them. You can always wait for a sale. Of course, everything is linked down below if you want to check them out. And then we'll, we'll talk about this tank top really quick. I wear these tank tops all the time. I wanted to make sure I included this guy. I one. This is my newest one that I bought a few weeks ago. So it is a newer one, but you know, it's just a such a great tank top. I got this guy in a size two as well. I love these for wearing under everything. I'm wearing it right now under this. You can see the little strappy. I love especially for stuff like this that is mesh. This top is from Hot Topic. That haul is coming very soon. So I wear the straps underneath stuff like this because you wouldn't see it. It's just like a little bit of extra detail. I think it's really cute. It's just such a great tank top. They last for so, so, so long. They're just that perfect kind of thicker cuffy tank top. I know you can get them cheaper, uh, but honestly, I just, the way these fit, and the length of them too, if you are a tall bean like I am, you're gonna love them. Okay, I feel like I could ramble about both those two items for forever. Let's get on to the next couple items. All right, so next is this denim jacket. I was eyeing this guy for so, so long. I got this guy in a size two and now I'm a little bummed. I wish I would've gotten a size three. I feel like it fits just fine because I will, my cats are being crazy in the background if you can hear them, what is new? I think had I been in a store trying it on, I probably would've tried on the size three and then gone from there, but it's almost a little bit too shrunken. When it comes to jackets, I feel like maybe I should just start getting threes because the last two twos that I've gotten have been a little bit smaller. Plus I got these arms. I got these arms and I need to remember that. My arms always fit just fine into size two jackets. It's just, it feels a little bit more shrunken. I just wish it was a little bit bigger. I don't want it to be oversized by any means, but I just wish it was a little bit bigger. But besides that, I absolutely love this jacket. I really hope they restock it. Um, they restocked it more than once. <sighs> it's a cutie. And I've, I got mine, I think on like a 40 percent off sale something like that it was so it was a it was a good deal it is a little bit from pricey but if you can get it on a good sale they always have like 35 40 50 percent off there's always something going on at toward you just gotta keep an eye out and i know in the store usually they have like buy one get one half off or something like that or buy two get one free i just personally for my body wish it was a little bit bigger so i could layer stuff under it i want to be able to wear a long sleeve shirt under it and the last time i wore it i did wear a long sleeve shirt under it and i just wasn't wasn't vibing but it did feel much better with just the tank top under it. So maybe that'll help. I don't know. She cute though. 
Itsy Forever 21 has one. Um, if this one is sold out, I'll link the Forever 21 one because uh, I think I need to pick that guy up too. All right, so the next couple items I tried on are another pair of leggings. There are three pairs of leggings in this haul and then this little t-shirt. Let's talk about the t-shirt really quick. Uh, so cute. I love skulls. This is the only item in the haul that I got in a size three. It is one of their super comfy soft t-shirts. It is kind of an off the shoulder, which I think is cute. And very conveniently, it's my tattooed shoulder, though I do really want to get this one tattooed at some point. Um, but that's not really a priority these days. Someday. Someday. Someday we will continue the tattoo process. Um, but uh, little skulls, I just thought it was cute. And you guys really like that little skull t-shirt that I got in one of my last store hauls. Not the last one, but the one before that, I think. Or was it the last one? It may have been the last one. My brain is everywhere today, guys. I've been filming all day, like I said. <laughs> but I love this little t-shirt. It's super cute, honestly. Towards t-shirts, if you can find one on sale. Oh, girl, my favorite thing is to hit up their clearance. I always do. Their t-shirts are just the best. I do like to usually go a size up in them though because they are sometimes a little bit more close fit. And I just like an oversized t-shirt. Always have, always will. I just like when things are not all up on my roll. Because if I'm wearing a t-shirt, I'm going to want to feel casual and comfy. But she cute. And then this pair of leggings. Oh my gosh, you guys. This is actually my second pair of these leggings. Not because I wore them out, but because I can't find them. I can't find them. Tord was having a sale. I was ordering other stuff and I was like, I miss those leggings. I turned my bedroom upside down. You guys know how many clothing hauls they do. There's clothing everywhere in my house. There are boxes of clothes everywhere. There are baskets of clothes everywhere. And I just could not find these leggings. I could not find them. Um, so I just decided to order a second one because I was like, you know what? I love them enough. They're so comfy. What's cool is they're obviously all one piece. So the fishnets are attached to the leggings. They are so easy to put on, so comfy. And you just, they're a pair of leggings that makes it look like you really tried, but you really didn't. I am all about that life when an outfit can look like I tried, but I really just put on a pair of leggings, but it looks like I like thought about it and I layered my leggings up, you know, with some fishnets super cute. I love the size of the fishnets. I love how these leggings fit. They're very comfy. 10 out of 10 out of 10. Honestly, they're one of my favorite pairs of leggings I have ever owned. Um, I'm glad I got a second pair. Uh, I hope one day I find the other one. She's somewhere. I wore those a lot. Um, I love toward leggings because they really do last. Of course, if you wear them every single day, they're going to eventually wear out. I went through them much faster when I used to work in retail and I was wearing them all day. I literally used to only wear the toward premium leggings. That was it. I have a whole collection, like I said, of all different ones that are black with like something a little bit different on them, like studs or moto or something like that, or they're like acid wash, but a lot of them just, a lot of them are size one and I am not a size one. No. But anyway, love these, love these, love these. All right, so the next guy that we tried on are a pair of moto leggings. I hope you guys can see. I will include a picture of like the stock image on the website so you guys can really see them because they are black on black. They have had leggings like this in various... I feel like I own an acid wash version of these. I know that I own somewhere one that is... They're black, but then the moto parts are pleather. This one is all the same kind of basic legging material, just like the premium leggings, but then there are the little moto details, which really you probably won't really notice, but I thought were cute and I'll notice. So I got them anyway, because I was like, just on a kick. I wore leggings the other day for like the first time in a long time, because I always just wear denim these days, because I have so much of it. And I put on leggings and I was like, what have I been doing with my life? Why have I not been wearing leggings? Why did I give them up? I honestly haven't really worn leggings for like over a year, I would say. Girl, I'm crazy. Why wouldn't, what, 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 I don't know. Wear those leggings, wear those leggings. So, all right, I did pick up a pair of biker shorts. I got these guys in a size two as well. All of the bottoms I got in a size two. I kind of wish that I would have gotten these in a size three uh, just because they just felt a little bit smaller than the leggings did, especially right around like the leg hole. So the leg holes just feel a little bit smaller, if that makes sense. Like there's a ring of stitching. They're not uncomfortable or anything, but I honestly would like them a size up so that if I wanted to fold up the legs to wear under a dress, I could. You could easily wear these under a dress. I honestly normally wear dresses that are at my knee or just above my knee for the most part or skirts that are around that length. So I'm not sure these would be perfect. Um, but I think if I was wearing them with a pig tights, you really wouldn't notice. Um, um, it would just be another extra layer of security so you're not showing everybody your bootay. But they do feel almost exactly like the premium leggings. So if you've tried those leggings from Torrid or pretty much any leggings from Torrid, then you're probably going to like the biker shorts too. So many of you guys wanted me to test them out because I always get asked what shorts I wear under my dresses. And honestly, I have this pair of little like lace shorts. Um, they're like basic high-waisted shorts, but there's lace on the bottom from Shein. And that's honestly my go-to because if anyone sees them, you see a little bit of lace 
underneath there and it's cute um they are a little bit shorter so they are a very very solid pair of biker shorts they're the only pair of biker shorts i have ever purchased uh that i can recall besides like i think i've had some from fashion nova that weren't like true biker shorts they were like a loungewear biker short situation but yeah they're good they're good if you're if you're into it i mean honestly toward very 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 rarely does anything wrong all right and then i did want to talk about a few different bras that i have picked up lately i have hauled this exact same long line bra in black i'm wearing the black one right now it's my favorite i honestly went back on there to buy a second one because that's how much i love it it's definitely a locked and loaded type of bra once you break it in of course it's a little bit more comfortable but because it is a long line bra it's kind of like wearing a corset corset bra if that makes sense like it does kind of smooth out your back it does but at the same time the first couple weeks of wearing it you're gonna be you're gonna feel a little bit you know locked and loaded but I do have to say it really does push up my bust it makes my bust look larger than it is so I do appreciate that so this is something that I definitely wear with dresses or anything that has a little bit of cleavage or honestly on days that I just want to feel more put together this is what I go for this is like my filming bra because I want like obviously if I'm gonna wear I don't want to wear like a bralette I want to wear something that I would really typically wear with a lot of the outfits that I do haul so love that so they had this guy in pink the black was sold out but the pink was there and it was on clearance so I picked it up last I saw a lot of the sizes are still left still on clearance of course I'll link it down below for you guys if you need one of those bras I do think it's true to size and the next one I picked up is this red one this one definitely doesn't stretch the same as the pink and the black ones do those have just a little bit better stretch around the bodice so I have arthritis, so it's really hard for me to like spin around bras sometimes in the kind of material this bra is made it incredibly difficult. And I honestly just gave up and didn't keep spinning it where I was like, I mean, it's a little bit of a hope <laughs> to get the black and the pink one around because it is a long line bra and I wanted it to be like, you know, fitted, not loose because then that was the whole point of it was to be like locked and loaded. Uh, so anyway, the red one does not fit me. Uh, I might be able to make it fit. The average person could probably get it on. Uh, but my hands, I've been having an arthritis flare up the last couple days. My hands and my arms are just feeling super extra weak. Uh, so this bra didn't work out for me. It's actually on my posture. I get Poshmark, Poshmark, Poshmark right now. But then I just realized I got deodorant on it. So I got to remedy that girl so I don't know I'll figure it out and then the last one um is the this bralette I'll just put in a picture of it I think I forgot to hold it up but I do want to show you this guy I just picked this one up because I wanted another basic black one um I had picked up this one that I'll also put on the screen because I want to mention this one um that has little skulls and roses on it I hope that they get more like this one only because I love the black lace one I think it's so cute it's just very thin um in my nails I need to chop them off and put on some fake nails but I almost poked a hole through it when I was putting it on because it was so thin just be careful if you want to pick it up but these bras are the most comfortable in the whole world I just feel like the black skull one the material it's made out of is a little bit more heavy duty but girl I'm literally obsessed with these bralettes I wish that I would have started wearing bralettes forever ago they are the most comfortable bras ever and the long line bralettes from Torrid are so good if they would just make one with like a little bit of padding that was a long line bralette. They have some bralettes with padding, but none of them are the long line. And I just, I just love a long line. I got a lot of these like rolls on the side and I just love anything that's gonna like, you know, squish them in, keep them in, get them locked and locked, <laughs> get them locked and loaded. You know, you know, I just love them. I just love them. If you have not tried a toward bralette, treat yourself get you one, wait for a sale, look for a clearance one, do what you need to do. Um, if any of the other ones that I own and love are available, I will link them down below, but they seem to sell out at a decent pace. So jump on them. When you see one that you like, girl, there have been so many times where I put one in my cart and thought about it for a few days and went back and the size two was out. I do normally get a size two. I normally wear a B. It still works for me, which is great. I was always worried to order them before because I do have a smaller bust for my size. That I was worried that uh, the cups would be too big, but they're not, they're not, they fit great, but they are usually stretchy. So they are pretty, you know, size inclusive. All right, love, so that is everything that I got from Tour this time around. I feel like I'm probably forgetting something because I honestly will order like a little thing here, one thing there. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know what kind of tour haul you want to see next. I've been keeping an eye on there clearance because you guys seem to really enjoy that sale haul that I did last time. I love getting a good deal. I love when Tord has sales. Thankfully they do and they've got more and more sales these days than they used to which I highly appreciate because now sometimes I can actually afford to shop at Tord uh, when before I just could not. 
But anyway, I love you guys so much. Let me know where you want to haul from next. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Share if you could. It does help me out so, so much. And please subscribe if you haven't already. I upload videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Let's be friends. Okay? Okay. Okay. I'll see you guys soon. Bye. And you just, they're a kind of pair of, whoa. And you look like you tried a little bit. I got the hiccup burps. Like, what? what? Get too excited. I run no breath.